<laughs> hi, hi everybody. We are down at my friend Randy's house and we are, are going to show you his uh, little cabin he made for his grandkids at the end of this video. But this is a cabin he actually made a few years ago. How many years ago now was it? Do you remember? 10. Was it 10 years old? Yeah, so, I think so. That I had sawed the logs out for. And so he's getting pretty good at the log cabin business. But uh, so anyways, at the end of this video, we're going to show you the finished product of his of his small cabin for the grandkids. But uh, first off, I'm going to take you back into the woods and show you the as I get the logs out and get them sawed into these into these cabin logs. A lot of this video was taken several months ago. Good morning. It's a little bit of a dreary day. I hope to cut some hay this afternoon. We'll see if that works out for me. But uh, right now it's wet, so I'm going to take time to go get a load of logs. I have some red pine and white pine to get. And I just wanted to show you this area right here. I have a 350 acre wood lot and I have several of these landings I have scattered around. And this is just one of them. But I just wanted to share with you a couple of, my the fires are bad. A couple of uh, weeks ago, I was coming through here with the horses and I stopped because I saw two owls out here. And I'm not a big bird man, but I thought it was kind of unusual to see two owls. So I took out my phone and, and I was able to cap capture a video of the two of them. Um, not necessarily right together, but I had some pretty good close-ups and I was surprised. So I thought maybe you might want to see it, so I want to share it with you. And then we'll get back to logging. Shy girl? Huh? You shy? Hey girl. Hey. Hey, look at me, owl. I'm just going to stay there all day. Huh? Hey, look behind you. Right over here. You a pet or what? Where'd the other one go? I see it. Yeah, this is getting boring. I gotta work. Oh. So this is another one of my little landings. Probably should call them skidways, not landings, because they're not... Well, we call it different things. Anyways, the wagon's on a hill here. If I don't block it up, it'll roll backwards. Lady, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Lady. Oh. Thought I had a block here somewhere. Maybe this is all it was. Back farther than I wanted, but I think it's gonna work. So now we have 
some red pine I got cut for a guy for a log cabin he's making for his kids, grandkids. Uh, so I want to get that done. It's actually just two trees I need to finish it up. I've already got some done. There's one tree. There's one tree right there. And there's another tree back farther. And this tree here, I'll get the top out of the way and hitch right on the top of the whole tree and pull it right up through to this landing and cut it up. Same with that other one. Same with that other one out there. I can pull the full tree up, I hope, and then cut it into logs. Need uh, tens and 12 footers, I believe, to finish up the job. And then we'll still have room on the wagon, so we'll go up to the upper landing and throw on a few white pine to uh, fill up the load. Here's a red pine I wanted to show you. If you look up, it's still green on it, but the top is somewhat broke off, but look at these. I'm sure a forester could tell me exactly what they are, some sort of a fungus. And I can pretty well guarantee you within a year or so that tree will be dead. I got holes in it already, the looks. So if I don't cut this right off, I won't be able to salvage it for a, any lumber. So I'll have to do that very soon, although not today. Sometimes, some situations, it's just best to get off the cart, let them go by themselves. I wish I'd done that a little bit different. Um, if I had drove, I could have kept them straight and then cut the tree in half as it is. See the damage I did to that tamarack tree? It's not the end of the world, but it's not good. But uh, I've got to cut it in half now, and I would have had to anyways, but had I come straight like this, I would have avoided possibly damaging that little tree, that tree right there. But this is logging, and unfortunately those things do happen. Well, I'm heading out of the woods empty. My skid steer wouldn't start. I've had troubles with it before, and I know what the problem is, but I've got to go home and get some what I need to get it fixed and come back down and get that fixed. So I'll have to wait until tomorrow now to come get these logs out. Okay, we're back in here. Oh, we're back in here this morning. Um, got the skid steer fixed last night. And uh, we came to get these logs home. I got the red pine on the wagon now. And we're just going to get a few more white pine here to top off the load. Um, I don't know how many I take, but I have a couple different orders, a couple different things, so um, that's what we're going to do and head home and do some hay. And it looks like the sun is going to come out and be a beautiful day. It was really foggy coming in here this morning. It's kind of sticky. Of course, we've sweated already. And, but, uh, clear out to be a nice day out. Okay, I'll load it up and ready to take her home. Okay, I got the red pine home and I'm ready to saw, have started sawing into some more log cabin logs for my friend that's making this log cabin for his grandkids. So 
These are the logs. These are the cants I've already sawed. He's hoping for logs that are eight inches wide and they'll be going up this way, of course. And he wants enough lip here, you know, three or four inches of lip so that next logs can lay on here and build up. He doesn't want them too thick because they're that much heavier and to have it uniform, somewhat uniform, this inside wall is going to be flush. So that means these are going to vary quite a bit from log to log. And that's how he's going to make it. I hope to get down there and saw and show you some of the progress that he's making on that cabin. But for right now, I have to saw. Some of these logs I would get two cants out of. This one right here I did. But it was kind of a guessing game to get it thick enough and yet not too thick. The bottom one was a little bit thick so I took another inch board off of that to make it more uniform. He said he wants it a kind of a rustic cabin, so he wasn't really fussy, which made it really good for me.
Well, that's all the logs he's going to need for his log cabin. I am going to um, go down and see how he's coming on it and try and get some videos so you could see how the progress is going. This is my first trip down to see how he was coming along. When you get all down, I'm going to come down and video, video you in it, you know. Yeah. Maybe the kids. Yeah. So is this going to be an open window? A window that's open? Yeah, I've got to, I'll show you the window. Let me just swing it on the back side. I left just a little window in the back. I figured... Hi everybody. We are on our way down to see our friend Randy and Tracy's. Uh, new little log cabin that they made for their grandkids. I've got Brenda with me today and I'm half hesitant to let her come with me because I know what's going to happen. She's going to see this cute little cabin and say, oh, we need that for our grandkids. Yeah, Jim keeps telling me how cute it is, so it's got to be cute. So, anyways, we're going to stop in and, and see Randy. And you want Randy and I in these chairs? I really, it doesn't... We'll be there. rocking. Hey, Rand! We're gonna sit in these chairs. We'll put the kids on our lap. Where's you? Over there. Oh, He's in here. Yeah. Britton, how you been? Good. Do you remember Miss Brenda from release time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you out of that? Hey, Alan. Yeah. We've got Randy and Tracy with us and their grandchildren, some of their grandchildren and neighbor. Uh, neighbor. Yes. So um, Randy's been showing us around um, a little bit and at some of his other things he's got going on and oh my goodness, he's got treasures, treasures, treasures. <laughs> this is just so cute. It's gorgeous. Um, do you want to give us, tell us a little bit about it, Randy? or? Well, it started off as a, a boredom project, and Britain wanted a, wanted a playhouse. They didn't have a playhouse here, something to do. So we started with that, and then I went and picked Jim's brains about <laughs> how we could do it easier than when we did the original big cabin with the full logs. That didn't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> and we decided if we went with half logs, and and could connect them right that it would be a lot easier to put up and after that it was just fun piece by piece with different people lending a hand and kicking in to, to do it and um, outside of the logs most of the stuff that's in it is um, pieces that family gave we had some roofing and Tracy's parents had some roofing and gave us that to go on and um, Tracy's uncle had 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 the porch post for a project he was going to do so he gave those to us oh um, those are nice the wheels came from a, a good friend of ours that um, who had went in the nursing home and her antique business had closed up and they came from her i love that mm -hmm. this touch it's really cute yeah it looks um, nice keeps anybody from falling off the sides <laughs> not too far down either but and different pieces of architecture and stuff we had from uh, my collection through the years so from there we just got plucking away at it tracy and i had worked on uh, we had the rafters made because they were too confusing for me to figure out how to build and uh, so we went to the local lumber mill and and they built them for it that's where Tracy's muscle comes in. She helped. Yeah, Tracy, you helped her and I, I did. I did. Her and I did the roof. And I was sore for a couple of days after that. <laughs> but it was a fun project it for was. the kids. And yeah. Britton's still working at decorating it, and the boys work at oh, 
Oh, Britton, you're doing all, some of the decorating here? I think she's going to paint this, right? Mm -hmm. What color? I was thinking maybe blue or red. Blue or red. Oh, my goodness. Blue. That's going to yeah. be her project to paint this window. Yeah. Well, it's kind of neat how you've, you've made it look like it's old and old-fashioned. And you go, I mean, it's this is new, but it looks, it looks old-fashioned. It goes with all of your antiques and treasures and finds, so it's, it's really, really cute. Originally, I think he was going to strip the bark, and I said, no, no, keep it original. And I think it was a good decision that we had made to keep it original. I yeah, love it. I like yeah. it a lot. When we see inside. Yeah, gr yeah. grandkids, do you want to show us inside? Go show them around. Show what's, what's, in there? what's in there? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Show them your horsey. Yeah. Show them your horsey, Alex. <laughs> Very cute and yeah. you're working on getting it all decorated the way you want it and everything. Got things for all ages to do in here. Now did the did you saw the boards in here? Or is it, this is the other side of it. Everything. That's Everything. the log. That's, That's the log, That's yeah. Back side this of is the back side of the log. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. Very nice. Well, thanks for showing us around. I hope you guys have lots of fun in here. Lots of fun. Brendan wants to sleep in here. Yeah. Well, I heard your mom said that it could be a what did you call it? A granny flat. A granny flat. <laughs> I, I thought this is uh, where Randy's going to go when you he got in trouble once again from you. Oh, no, that's the dog house. This is the children's house. <laughs> this is house. too good for him. Yeah. <laughs> this is my mom here, and she, she said she was going to make it a granny flat. Yeah. Yes. It, just, it just needs a, a good... Um, you said outhouse, right? But, yeah. <laughs> I said with plumbing. <laughs> Insulated one. Yeah. It, we have British roots, and in England, the uh, grandparents have a granny flat. Yeah. Right. Instead of a mother-in-law apartment. Yeah. I like granny flat. I yeah. love it's granny really flat. Cute. It's cute. So thanks so much for watching as we uh, stop by to see Randy and Tracy and what they've made here. And thanks for watching Working Horses with Jim.